What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the final episode right here of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022 edition. See you guys? I was going to finish it before 2022 ends. Told you. <laughs> Anywho, guys, so first thing is first, big ol' Happy New Year's to every single one of you guys out there in YouTube land. Uh, Happy New Year's for those who live in uh, the other regions where... January 1st finally hit, and uh, Happy New Year's to every single one of you guys who are here on my coast, and a big old thank you to every single one of you guys who have been very, very patient for this particular episode. So, what are we doing here, guys? Well, a lot of you guys were wondering, how was I going to do this, and look at this, my team is jacked up. How did I get them to that level? Well, let's show the proof right here. Let's go right into the Hall of Fame. And you'll see, we went through the Hall of Fame 17 times. And if you guys want more proof, yes, this is a lot easier on the VBA rather than on a regular Game Boy. Look at that. They progress every single time in levels. We went through it... Well, we went through the, the Elite Four 16 times. Because remember, we already defeated the Elite Four one time. But we got to battle Silver one last time. Because, well, after you complete the game, Silver becomes available to battle, like, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays and stuff. So, what I'm going to do right here, guys, is I'm going to go straight to the Elite Four and battle them three more times, just to be a little bit more prepared. That way, we can actually go and battle Red. So, I'll be right back with you guys after defeating Lance for the 20th time. See you. Okay, so here is the 20th time that we're going to be facing the Elite Four right here, guys. And yes, we're going to be speeding this through right here. So, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory going into this whole Elite Four thing. I've noticed something that, uh, that I think many of you guys probably already figured out yourselves. It just took me quite a while, you know, doing this for me to figure it out and all that stuff. But I really, really didn't need, um, what was it called again? I really didn't need my starter Pokemon for any of this whole thing right here because, um, <laughs> it's, it's funny, guys, because... The first four times that I actually went up against the Elite Four right here, um, Chico was not in the picture at all. I actually had to force myself to use Chico in order to beat every single one of these guys, and uh, it turns out that <laughs> it really turns out that I didn't need Chico for any of these battles. It, just, it was just there for convenience and all that stuff. So that's kind of the sad part. That there is one Pokemon on your team that you really don't need for the Elite Four. And it happens to be my starter, so that's why many of you guys were like, Oh my god, he chose uh, Chikorita as his starter. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was one story right there. One Pokemon that I really didn't need. And then the other thing too was that while training with, uh, well, while training for uh, this Elite Four battle, or just doing this 20 times in a row, yeah, I got a nice chunk of change. And I managed to buy myself a lot of good P uh, HMs, or no, not HMs, but TMs, just to uh, just to try and strategize for what's going to happen later on in this episode right here. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I, I spent a lot of my money, or the majority of my money, onto the game corner so I can get whatever TMs are there. And it sucks because, um, let's see, I believe that in the... I believe in what was it? in Golden Rod you get the more you get the attacking TMs, while in uh, Celadon you get yourself the strategy TMs, which would be like double team and all that stuff. So I may be doing that. And then the other thing too, the Pokemon that I traded for like Hera, Hera, um, what was it? Torpedo, and then who else? Hera, Torpedo, and Fluvolt. These were the easiest Pokemon to train because, yeah, they were double the. Uh, it would double the experience, and right now, since, you know, I actually took, uh, well, I actually just take, I took a break to actually, uh, train everybody. I took away the experience share right here, that way they don't, that way we don't overlevel these Pokemon. So, as you guys can see, Fluffbolt is my next level 70 Pokemon right here. And, well, let me see. Yeah, and then... Once my Pokemon started getting to a certain level, like at around the 60s, it became a little bit easier battling every single one of these Pokemon trainers, including... I, I was actually doing, like, some challenges, like, uh, how about use one Pokemon at a time? But that would have been a stupid thing, because I would have still lost my money right there, so... That kind of, uh, that kind of changed right there. So, we're gonna be going straight to Bruno, and we're gonna be speeding up everything yet again. So let's go right ahead and just beat this guy who... I don't know why he's third in the whole totem pole right here. 
As you guys can see, I did change a few of my Pokemon's moves just to uh, get ready for red right here. And yeah, look at that. Machamp was the was the most difficult Pokemon to actually go up against because, well, yeah, it's Machamp. It's one of the most powerful fighting types out there. And as you guys can see, a Pokemon like Serpentera going up against a fighting type trainer, yeah, doesn't have much luck. But after a few after a few go rounds in the in the Pokemon gym, yeah. And uh, well, let's see. I know I'm gonna see it somewhere around this uh, this the comment section later on. But yes, I have surpassed Ric Flair in championships, so whoo! <laughs> you know who you are. Thank you for the references and stuff. So let's go again and take on uh, Claire right here. Or Karen, whatever her name is. And, uh, okay. And we're getting, we're getting hurt right here. So yeah, another Pokemon that really, like, you know, chop, bust my balls right here was uh, Ombreon because it's more defensive Pokemon. I'm kind of thinking to myself, why didn't I just use Ombreon for a change? And, well, let's go with Flamethrower right here. And Murkrow, you're coming out. You know what, let's go ahead and roast this uh, bird. Let's get this po uh, Pokemon to level 68. And it's Houndoom versus Houndoom. They're both females, and there we go. Crunch attack again. She's coming out with a Vile Plume. And Flamethrower attack for the win. And, let's see, coming out with a Gengar. Let's go ahead and finish this guy up with a Crunch attack. And just like that, we defeated uh, Karen for the 20th time right here. So yeah, 20 time, <laughs> 20 time Pokemon League champions right here. Holy crud! Okay, so let's see. Another story would have to be how I got well Torpedo. In a sense, it was easier to use Torpedo because you know it's a Dragon type Pokemon, and over the time, like you know. The majority of its levels it got right here against Lance because it was the only Pokemon capable to defeat every single one of his Pokemon. And then after that, I just, you know, switched it up. So here we go, taking on Lance yet again for the 20th time. He must be sick and tired of seeing me beat him every single, every single time. So yeah, let's go right ahead and do this. Man, I love this song. I really do. It gets me all fired up. There we go. So here we got Batman, and well, for the 20th time, we're gonna, we are going to breeze through this guy's uh, team right here. So let's go right ahead and speed it up. Thunder Punch, there we go. And he's coming out with the Dragonite, so this right here is where I use Torpedo, and I use Icy Wind all the time. And as you guys already know, Icy Wind is not the most powerful move, but it does, it does have a capability, and that is that, you know, it lowers the speed of Pokemon, that's why I kept it on Torpedo. I was trying to find that guy that was actually selling Ice Beam and all that stuff, so couldn't find him. So here we go. Champion Lance coming out with his Aerodactyl yet again. And here we go. Surf Attack. And just like that, we got one more Pokemon. And he's coming out with a Charizard. And just like that, for the 20th time, we have defeated Lance. Now, is this a cheap way to try and take on Red? Maybe. But I want to actually have <laughs> I want to actually have a an edge against this guy. This guy has what? Most of his Pokemon are at level 70. Well, his Pikachu is at level 80. Yeah, I kind of need to I kind of need everything that I can get in order to take on this Pokemon trainer right here. So, we're going to be speeding through this. Actually, I'm going to cut I'm going to cut this whole thing out. We're going to go straight back to the Pokemon League. That way we can get ready to go into Mount Silver. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are back in Viridian City. Let's go ahead and show you guys the proof. Not this guy. Hold on. Right here. The proof. 20-time Hall of Famer. Yes, 20-time champions. Took us quite a while, but we did it, guys. So it is finally time for us to go to Mount, or Mount uh, Silver right here. And along the way, I'm going to be talking a few things, guys. Yeah, it has been a long, long, long year, to be quite honest. Um, I, I never thought that, you know, I never thought that I would be coming back to these games again and just, you know, just playing them for fun and uh, being a little bit more strategic and all that stuff. But as you guys already know, these games have been like my childhood right here. And, I, and it, it's just like it's always fun to play these things right here. So there you go, after completing 16 badges, you will have the opening right here. Make sure to have a Pokemon with Cut, just so you can get through this whole area right here. 
But like I was saying, guys, yes, this is childhood right here. This is my... This is pretty much, you know, one of my favorite games of all time, alongside Emerald and all that crud. And, uh... I don't know what to say. Going back the second time around right here, it just... It, it's... To me, it just feels... It feels a little bit more complete because I actually... I'm actually, like, showing you guys a little bit, uh... A little bit different stuff from the last vlog right here, which you guys already know I have some. And, well, let's see. I think there's an item right here. Let's see. There should be some kind of item right here. But, yes, guys. I do feel as though that, um... Uh, we're going to keep on doing this whole redos of, uh, of walkthroughs and all that stuff. As many of you guys already know, Pokemon Emerald is on the way. And believe it or not, uh, first day of January, you guys will be seeing the very first episode of Pokemon Emerald. So just be keep an eye out for that one right there. And, uh, well, if you go right here on Route 28, we're going to find this lady right here. And she will be able to give you a TM that is a TM-47, I believe that's Sandstorm. No, that's not Sandstorm. That is, what is this? So if he's a celebrity everywhere I go, they would chase me. Okay, so what is TM-47? I want to see this. Let's see, let's see. TM-47. And as you guys can see, I did buy myself so some of the more expensive uh, TMs, like Psychic. With all the money that I earned with uh, the Elite Four, TM-47, let's see, that is Steel Wing, wow. Okay, so another Steel Wing attack. Doesn't make sense, but okay. But yes, guys, um, let's see, what else can we do right here? Yeah, nothing much, this is the Silver Cave. And what you do need for the Silver Cave is a Pokemon with Flash, and that, that's it. Pokemon with Flash and Pokemon with Surf. If you guys want to go grab some other items, such as Max Revive or uh, whatever's inside, make sure to have a Pokemon with uh, with Waterfall because that right there will get you through every single space here in the uh, Silver Cave. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I am actually going to switch out my Pokemon, prepare them, and get ready to go right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are, ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon team. So in all honesty, guys, I actually thought that many of you guys would be choosing an all-star team to go up against uh, uh, against Red, but it, I mean, it, it is democracy. You guys chose the whole original Gen 2 team, and well, I'm kind of happy that you you guys did, because during that time, too, when we were, we were taking on uh, the Elite Four 20 times in a row, it gave me time to actually find some moves that would actually help me out right here. As you guys can see, I have equipped most of my Pokemon with their item of choice, and may or may not have switched up a few items here and there just so we can be ready to go. The big one right here is Serpentera. I did change one of its moves, which was Rock Throw, to Return. Alongside with Screech, it would become a more powerful Pokemon going up against, like, the Slowbro uh, or the, uh, the Snorlaxes of the world right here. And, uh, let's see. Who is the other Pokemon? Here we have Chico, the Pokemon that we really didn't need at all. And I did switch out one move for, uh, well, I did switch out one move, and that was Razor Leaf for Giga Drain. And, uh, let's see, who else? The Focus Ban, obviously, is going to go to Togepi, because, well, throughout the whole, the whole, um, Pokemon League challenge, Togepi has been the only one that's been getting its butt kicked, so Focus Ban would actually help out if we were, if we were to get one shot in or anything like that. And then finally, Torpedo. This guy's turned out to be one of the more important Pokemon on my team, mainly because it does have Dragon Breath to paralyze people, does have Icy Wind to slow down people, and Toxic, just in case we don't really do anything and we just want to leave our mark to, uh, uh, to <laughs> towards Red right here. So, let's go right ahead and do this, guys. It's finally time to go up against... Not this... Oh, by the way, you can find Rapidashes here, too. So here it is, guys, Mount Silver, and yes, you do need a Pokemon with Flash. This is where Fluffolt comes in. We are te we did teach it Flash just for this occasion, and well, for strategy too. Make sure to bring a lot of uh, well, ma make sure to bring a lot of uh, Max Repels just in case you don't want to get attacked by any of the Pokemon here. And as you guys can see, you guys can find some items. One being a Max Revive. I would suggest grabbing that because it can help against uh, Red. And here we have a protein, which I should probably use on one of my Pokemon. Oh my god. 
Again, guys, I'm getting a little nervous right here. We did all our work, and here we have an escape rope. Yeah, we put in some work, and hopefully this will actually help. So let's see, let's go ahead and see if we can actually find this dude right here. So we got three items given to us right there and then. And here we have an Ultra Ball for some of the more, the more powerful Pokemon right here. And what if we go right here, found ourselves a Dire Hit. Yeah, so it's literally just like handing us items right here. It's like, hey, up ahead, there is a trainer that might be kicking your butt. I don't know. I don't know, but I kind of feel like that's what the game is, uh, is telling me right here. So let's see, what else can we find right here before we, we go up against Red? As you guys can tell, a little nervous. Just a little nervous. Okay, so there's an item right there. should probably grab that. Let's go. Right here, grab this. And we found ourselves a Max Elixir, which I did bring out from my PC, just for this occasion right here. And, well, let's see. Going down, nothing right there. Going right here, there could be an item right here. Yeah, I'm just checking every crevice and everything just to make sure that, you know, I'm not mistaken or I'm not leaving anything out. So, here is the infamous room that I'm talking about. If you go right here, you're going to need a Pokemon with a Waterfall to go up there, but you don't need a Pokemon to get to Red, or you don't need a Pokemon with Waterfall to, to get to Red. And here we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. You know, it would have actually worked. These Ultra Balls would have actually worked if, uh, you know, they would have actually put some rare Pokemon from, like, the past and all that stuff. And thankfully, Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver has actually fixed that little problem. And, well, let's see... We gotta find red. So we have to go through a waterfall right there. But, here it is, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. And there's red. So here's something funny about this, guys. Another story talking about, talking about the past. So, if you guys remember, when I got to Kanto, and we started doing a little Kanto ex uh, exploration, I did say that, you know, for the longest time, I've, I've been going into the Pokemon Elite Four, battling them multiple times, and then, when I found out that the SS title was actually working and got to Kanto, I finished everything off in one day. Within that one day, we got to capture ourselves a Ho-Oh. That was the funny part. The following day, we went into Mount Silver right here, and we found Red, and you could see the amazement in my face when I was battling this dude. Because this dude was powerful, and the first thing that this guy had taught me was the Sunny Day Solar Beam combination. I didn't know that you could use this, and it's thanks to this guy that, you know, we finally got, we finally got that combination down. Oh god. Oh my god, here it is, guys. Alright, so... We've been waiting for this one, so let's go right ahead and do this. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so here it is, guys. The final battle of this whole walkthrough, and it's up, it's up against Pokemon Trainer Red, the guy from the Red, Blue, Yellow series. And, yes, he is one of the most powerful Pokemon trainers of all time, starting out with a level 81 Pikachu. So let's get right to, let's get right to it. Of course, this Pikachu is going to be very very strong and using this Charm Attack, but this Earthquake should be uh, should be enough since Pikachu is very very physically weak. And look at this, look at this, and it does it. Okay, so that's one down, five more to go. Oh my God. Okay, so let's see. It's coming out with an Espeon. This Pokemon right here is a tank. And it is a jerk, so let's go with Hera. Let's try and deflect this guy right here. Alrighty, Espeon, how's it going? Now, remember, it's that Eevee that you got in Celadon City, in Pokemon Yellow, that this Pokemon eventually becomes. And let's go with an Attract right here. And yes, he's going to try and hit us with a Swift Attack right here. So, let's go with Attract. That's right, Espeon, you are now in love with this, uh, with this dog right here. Okay, let's go with a Crunch Attack. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yes! Okay. Come on. Time to lower defenses. And... Oh my god. Oh! And there it is. Critical hit for the win. Okay. Alrighty, Hera. 
Way to go. Way to go, okay. <laughs> and here comes the guy that is the most difficult Pokemon to defeat, and that is Blastoise. So, oh my god. I would use Chico, but the thing is, this guy could have an Ice-type move, and I don't want that sh Yeah, I really don't want that to happen, so here comes a Rain Dance. This guy's gonna make it easy for me to hit him. He's powering me up. And here it is, Thunder Wave. You are now paralyzed, my friend. Okay, Thunder Punch, let's go. And since it's raining, it does boost up our, our Thunder attacks just a little bit. If you have a Pokemon with Thunder, Rain Dance combination with Thunder, it will never miss. And here comes a Surf Attack. Oh, God. Stay, 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 stay. Come on, Fluffold. We've been training for this. Alrighty. Let's go with a Thunder Punch again. Woo! Look at that! Blastoise has been defeated, so that's three right there. Holy crud, oh my god. <laughs> okay. So here comes the guy that really messes us up, and that is... Well, Tank. Woo! Alright. I think I know what to do. We're gonna go with Chico right here since, like I said, we don't really need Chico. But this is the Pokemon that should should give Snorlax a little bit of a, you know, should give Snorlax a little bit of a issue right here. So let's go with a Poison Powder attack. Just to try and beat it a little bit. There we go. And like I said, this Pokemon is an absolute tank when it comes to, you know, physicality and all that stuff. Remember, Body Slam can and will paralyze you if you're not um, if you're not prepared for that. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go with the Giga Giga Drain just so we can actually regain some of our HP back. And oh my God, come on, come on. Okay, so as you guys can see, Snorlax is a tank. That's why we named it Tank. Oh my God. All right, Snorlax. And we are paralyzed. Okay, so since Snorlax is poisoned. I think I know what to do right here. We're going to be switching out. We're going to make sure to switch out right here because we do have a Pokemon for this occasion, and that is Serpentera. And the reason I'm going to be using Serpentera is for a more obvious reason, and he's coming out with an Amnesia attack right here. So this guy is trying to, yeah, buff up its special defense. All right. Doesn't really matter. Let's go with a Screech. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it just... Oh god, okay, so... Okay, so its defense sharply fell. There we go. Try it one more time, and this guy's going for Body Slam. Now the thing is this, that we are an absolute tank ourselves. Not very effective. Let's go with the Return Attack right here, since we messed it up with a few Screeches. And... Oh lord. This is like hitting a Chansey. Good gravy. Come on, chop it down, chop it down. Come on! Oh, yes! And just like that, we have defeated it. <laughs> it's one of his more tougher Pokemon, and this guy's coming out with a Venusaur. We're gonna take a risk, and we're gonna keep Serpentera right here. All right, Serpentera. Take your risk. Let's go with a Screech attack right here. We're gonna try and lower this Venusaur's uh, defense just a little bit. And here comes a sunny day attack. This is where that solar beam attack came in. Now, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, yes, I used, uh, what was it, Ho-Oh to actually beat Venusaur since it was the only other level 60 Pokemon I had. And, oh my god, nearly defeated this guy right here. And here comes that solar beam. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, and we survive. Okay, so here we go. And, of course, Venusaur outspeeds us. That Quick Lock can only stay with us for so long. Okay. Let's go for Hera right here. We have Sunny Day coming out, so this would actually power us up, uh, power us up right here. So here we go, Flamethrower Attack for the win. And... Come on. That's how you do it. Oh my god. One more Pokemon, and I do have the one Pokemon that can defeat this guy. Here he comes out with Charizard. Let's go! Torpedo, this is your moment to shine. 
So here is Charizard, level 77. Be careful, this Pokemon is tougher than what he looks. And, well, just in case, we're gonna try and make sure that, you know, it goes down. Toxic attack. Badly poisoned, and here comes a wing attack. Thankfully, this guy doesn't have, like, a dragon attack that would actually hurt us. You know, like, Dragon King, or what was it called again? Dragon Claw. Thank God that's not for the next generation. And, well, here we go. Surf attack. Let's finish this guy off right here. And... Just like that, we're hitting this guy. Oh, come on. Go down. Go down. Go down. And there we go. Critical hit. For the win. I am throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. You see? 20 times to the Elite Four, and this is what you get. Dot, dot, dot. That's right, me. I defeated me. Alrighty. And after that, he's like, he has nothing else to say. Bye bye Whew! Okay! So... <laughs> there it is, guys. We have finally completed Pokemon Crystal in its entirety. I just want to say thank you guys for being so patient for this episode. And, uh, yeah! I mean, like I said, it has been a crazy year. Ups and downs and all that stuff, you know, investments and all that crud, and this is what we get. I'm going to look forward to the Pokemon Emerald walkthrough because, yes, we will be taking our Pokemon from, you know, Yellow and, and Crystal all the way to Emerald. I don't know what we're going to be doing with them, but I'm pretty much hoping that we do something a little special, like maybe the Battle Frontier, if that's what you guys wish to do. Other than that, guys, holy crud, I cannot believe... I cannot believe that, you know, we finally did it. <laughs> so, in closing, guys, I think I've already said everything that I needed to say, so I just want to say this. Have a happy New Year's. Have a safe New Year's. I will see you guys tomorrow, January 1st, 2023, with our newest adventure in the Hoenn region, Pokemon Emerald. So, thank you guys again. Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys tomorrow.